In 1960-61, the Stratford Junior Braves, coached by Bill Hartsburg, captured the Ontario Junior C Hockey Championship in a three-game sweep over the Gananoque Islanders in the best of five provincial final. It was Stratford's first junior hockey championship win in almost 20 years. Winning 13-5 and 5-3 in the opening two games, the triumphant 10-3 win clinched the crown. After the final buzzer sounded during game three, it was time to spark up the fire truck for the ceremonial ride through town. Rumor has it, Hartsburg gave the team the next day off. It's hard to remember back now. <laughs> That's over 50 years ago, but uh, you know, it was a real thrill. And uh, to be welcomed back home, you know, like when we won that, and, uh, you know, I can recall being on a fire truck, I think, and going around the town, and a lot of people were down, and you, you know, you realized how how great it was, you know, when all the other people were part of it. I think the thing I enjoyed about it most was that the team was made up entirely of players from Stratford. That was the only way we could get into the Junior C League was just to have strictly homebrew. So you were playing with people that you'd sort of grown up playing with and people that you knew growing up. So there was a real camaraderie with this, with this team right from the, right the get-go. Stratford always had very strong uh, minor hockey and, and, it, uh, and it was a result of, of just, uh, like Bob Zimmer said, guys like Bill Hartsburg uh, coaching the, the juveniles and, and, and the junior C team and, and Gary Thomas with the uh, peewee teams and, and throughout the whole systems, whether you were on an all-star team, a travel team, uh, in those days, or just played house bantam, house midget. Uh, it was just fun to play, and uh, so it was part of your life. Bill was always a disciplinarian, especially when it came to, uh, to how we played. And I can remember one night we were on a road trip, and uh, we got back to the arena, it must have been like 11 o'clock at night, and Bill says to Angelo Nigro, our trainer, Ange, turn the lights on. So at 11 o'clock at night, he turned the lights on in the arena and he took a chair to the center of the ice and he got the biggest cigar I'd ever seen and sat with the, on the chair with the cigar and we skated for, I don't know how long it was, an hour, maybe more. And that was 11 o'clock at night. It was a, a lot of work all year long, uh, especially uh, playing against Elmira. They were, they were great rivals. They had such a good hockey club. And that series went seven games, and that, that was tough. That was a tough series. And uh, of course, our coach, Bill Hartsburg, he was great. Uh, he, was, he was quite the motivator, and he, he had his ways of letting us know if we weren't playing well, especially on a Sunday morning. Uh, you ever, have you ever heard of a two-hour practice without pucks? Uh, then you knew you weren't playing well. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was great. A lot of good memories back then. What I liked most is that, that they didn't want to quit. That they, they would be down in a lot of games and they never quit. They come back and their enthusiasm was, is uh, just great as far as I was concerned. I, they said I was a tough coach, but it's, they wanted it because they wanted to win. It was a good year. We had some tough battles and uh, we partied hard.